Hey everybody, it's Olivia Grace back with another video for you guys. Today's video is about vibrations and vibes and how you can use your vibe to create better things into your life. Um, so a vibration is basically everything is vibrating um, at the core like of our building blocks, what makes us humans, what makes everything, everything um, is like the atoms of it. And all of the atoms are vibrating at a certain frequency. So the higher your frequency, the better your experience, the lower your frequency, the worse your experience is. Um, you can kind of tell people when you get around somebody that has um, bad vibes, that's what that means. That is the frequency that they're on is very low and you can feel that from them. Um, people on low frequencies, probably have a lot of things going wrong for them at one time, um, probably attract a lot of messed up situations into their life, messed up people into their lives because they're vibrating low. And you don't have to necessarily be uh, a mean or angry person. Actually, people that are depressed and sad um, are actually on a lower vibration than people that are angry and mean. Um, so that's kind of why sometimes it seems like bad things happen to good people because they may not necessarily be a bad person to attract bad vibrations but if they vibrate low in um sadness and low self-worth all these negative type of things then you're still on a low vibration to attract low vibrational events and to attract other people um, that take advantage of low vibrational people um so the same way that people that are on a low vibration attract bad things to themselves. They can't really help but attract bad things to themselves. People on a high vibration attract good things to themselves and they can't really, I mean, not that they want to, but they can't help that they attract tons of good things to themselves. Um, so the reason why uh, having a great vibration is important is because it kind of, it's kind of a shortcut around manifesting right? Because there is a law of attraction, but there's also a law of vibration. Um, and when you're vibrating high, everything in your life works out better. Um, and what does it mean to vibrate high? high? Vibrating high is like high, good emotions, like joy, love, gratitude, all these type of emotions. If you're feeling these type of emotions, um, like the, if you realize like or wonder why people that are in love, people that are like newly in a relationship or newly in love, things tend to work out in other areas of their life too. They start making more money, their you know business starts to pop off, they start feeling better about themselves. You know, a lot of different things that have nothing to do with their relationship starts to get better too because their vibration has raised. So now they're literally in a higher dimension of things working out for them. So um, I don't want to get too trippy for you guys, but um, there, I think it's Murphy's Law that says everything that can happen um, will happen and is happening because time is an illusion. Um, it's something that we experience in the realm that we are, linear time, but time doesn't really exist. Um, so there are different dimensional versions of you. There's a low vibrational dimension version of you that's experiencing a really horrible life. And at the same time, there's a high vibrational you that's experiencing all the best things in life. And there is a um, plethora of in between vibrations of you that are experiencing all kinds of different things, right? And the way that you experience that is where you're vibrating. If you, even if you're vibrating very high and something happens and it ruins your vibration, you're now vibrating very low, you're now in the dimension where things don't work out for you and same vice versa. If you're in a very low dimension and a very low vibration um, and you switch it around and start to vibrate very high, you're now going to experience the benefits of that where things start to work out for you guys. I know this sounds like crazy. It sounds like mumbo jumbo, but it's actually scientific. It's quantum physics. You can look it up for yourselves. Um, but um, yeah, so raising your vibe, how to raise your vibe is just to feel good, just to choose to feel good. Um, and I know that's hard when you are depressed, when you are sad, when you are feeling really discouraged and hopeless. Um, but if, even if you can't feel good, just reach for the next best feeling. Um, and sometimes neutrality is the next best feeling. Just choosing not to care, choosing not to make everything mean so much, just doing the best that you can and just fuck it really that's really the vibe just fuck it like it is what it is you know um from that vibration you should be able to move into a vibration of gratitude where you can at least appreciate 
something in your life like I say in um, these videos if you're watching this on some type of device you're probably financially better off than a lot of people in the world if you had something to eat today you're in a better uh, position than a lot of people if you have a roof over your head you have a you're in a better position than a lot of people it's just about being able to see what you do have versus what you don't and once you do get in the practice of doing that um, it will it will show more things to you that make you feel that way just the same way that you give attention to negativity all the times you're going to continue to vibrate low and continue to attract these situations into your life um, a quick tip that you guys can do that helps raise your vibration is to make lists um, in the morning and at night of in the morning what are you grateful for and at night the positive things that happened in your in during your day um, this simple tip you guys I've been doing this for maybe like three or four days and I've already seen like a huge increase in my vibration I'm getting a lot of like free things a lot of things keep working out for me I can just tell the difference in my life from when I wasn't doing that to when I was and um, I always kind of write my gratitude list in the morning that's kind of like a basic law of attraction type thing to do but I I stopped kind of writing my positive aspects I did do that before and when I was doing it before I also experienced a lot of abundance um, so just give it a try what it does is put the focus most of the time when we think back on our day we're thinking about oh this person that did me wrong and this person that did this or whatever we don't really think about how many times we were blessed and how many times you know the universe or God really looked out for us during the day so when you do shine a light on that it gives the opportunity to continue to do that you wake up the next morning go through the next day and the universe is like oh you're appreciating things let me give you more things to appreciate and that's just how that works but um, yeah the law of vibration is vibrating high is gonna attract a lot of good things to you in every area of your life if you're vibrating low you're gonna attract a lot of bad things to yourself um, in every area of life so I'll be coming to you guys with another video tomorrow I think this is like my 26th video and I should only have like three left yeah so I'm almost done. But yeah, you guys, y'all have a great night and I'll talk to y'all tomorrow.